Hey guys, Jordan Lucas here. Today we're with my strength and conditioning coach, Jeremy Dooley, for Rule 108 Fitness. Today we're going to be running through 10 strength and conditioning techniques that will help you prepare for your MMA fights. The following technique is a bear crawl, which involves coordination, core stability, and mobility. So when doing a bear crawl, you need to be in all fours with a flat back. From there, your knees will come slightly off the ground and then you're gonna walk forward with your hands and feet operating in alternating position. The following technique is a Spider-Man crawl, which involves hip mobility, opens up through the chest, and is good coordination and core activation for a fighter. When doing the Spider-Man crawl, you'll start in all fours. As your left hand comes forward, your right foot will come to your opposite hand and you'll continue that motion as you move forward. This technique is a step through, which involves dynamic range of motion, core activation, and mimics a lot of movements that a fighter can find themselves in on the ground. You'll be starting from an all fours position on the ground, butt up high in the air, and you'll get your leg and fling it through the opposite side of your body and then keep swapping positions. The following technique is a band resisted takedown which helps work on explosiveness through a double leg takedown. The band can be anchored to a stationary stable object or to another person. The athlete then can perform as many takedowns as they can within one minute or at the other person's call. The technique we're about to do is a band resisted alphabet which works on dynamic core and range of motion through a three dimensional plane. The athlete must anchor a band to a stable object, the athlete will then Extend their arms to completely straight and spell out the alphabet as slow and controlled as possible. Once completed one way, athlete will then turn around and perform in the opposite direction. This technique is an explosive push-up with a dummy bag roll. This involves explosive power through the upper body as well as making the fighter get used to being disorientated when on the ground. Athlete will lie alongside the dummy bag, will then do an explosive push-up throwing themselves over the dummy bag, grab the dummy bag, roll over and repeat. The following technique is an ISO hold. Mental strength is a really important aspect of mixed martial arts, so we're going to test that by putting Jordan through a range of specific holds that relate to fighters. When performing a wall sit, your legs need to be at 90 degrees and back flat against the wall. You will hold the position for up to 90 seconds. Once you get 90 seconds, you can go for an indefinite period of time. When performing a half push-up, you'll start from the bottom point of a push-up, elevate yourself to halfway up, and then maintain that position for up to 90 seconds and beyond. When performing a cage hang, the athlete will hang halfway from the top of the cage as if they are doing a half chin-up or a half pull-up. You'll maintain that position for up to 90 seconds. Once you achieve 90 seconds, you can hold for an indefinite period of time. Following technique of fast feet reactions, Jordan will be shadow boxing and on my call will perform some fast feet movements. On a specific call, he'll run through the ladder as quickly as possible, moving side to side, one foot in and one foot out of the square. If you have access to a agility ladder, great. Otherwise, you can create your own grid on the ground in your training complex. The following technique is a bell end up kettlebell walk, working on shoulder strength and stability, as well as increasing Jordan's mental toughness. The athlete will walk with their arms at 90 degrees, holding two kettlebells, bell end up in each hand. The important thing to remember is that your arms don't flare outwards and that your elbows stay nice and central. This technique is a plated hip thrust. We're going to be working on explosive power through the hips and through the glutes. Shoulders are elevated on a bench or a box, plate around the hip region. Athlete then will explode through the hips, moving the plate upwards. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to check out all our other videos. To score 5% off your next bulk powders purchase, use the code SHOWTIME at the checkout. Make sure to keep updated by following us on Instagram, liking us on Facebook and subscribing to our YouTube channel.